Hi, this is Anthony. Welcome back to my show. At the time that I'm producing this video, Arkimoto's stock has plunged nearly 13% a day after they released third quarter earnings. Last week, I predicted that there may be a pop-up in share price after the special shareholder meeting on Friday and prior to their earnings release yesterday, and that current shareholders might use that pop-up in price to sell off their shares. I was correct with that prediction, although it's not that hard to make. But I also knew that with the pop-up in price, people would rush in to sell, driving the price down again, which we see happening today. I'll have a link to the show notes and further information about their announcement, and I want to keep today's video extremely short, so here's the bottom line. The company incurred a net loss of approximately $17 million in the third quarter, compared with a net loss of $11.5 million for the same quarter in the prior year. They further added that the company has $65.6 million in assets. Now that certainly sounds like a lot of money, doesn't it? But what are those assets? I would assume that that is the quarter of a million square feet production facility in Eugene, plus materials and equipment to make Arkimoto's products. Now obviously that machinery and those materials, the plastic and metal and tires and components that go into making the fun utility vehicles, have some value, but let's think about this. If the company went bankrupt tomorrow, the building is locked up and you have a bunch of assets that they value at over $65 million. And I'm going to assume that most of that is either real estate or physical assets, including some finished products. If you had a bankruptcy sale and sold off all those assets, what would you really get? Certainly the building, if they owned it free and clear, has some value. But who else is going to manufacture something in Eugene, Oregon at this point in time as the United States is facing a recession? I don't know if there's anybody. If there are finished vehicles that they own, those two have some value, but I think that the average price of these is around $22,000. And if these vehicles are ones that are used for demonstrations and for advertising purposes where they give potential customers rides in them, then they're used vehicles and they're not going to be able to be sold at full price. What about the rest of the assets? A bunch of steel tubing and other components for three-wheeled electric vehicles really only has value if you're going to manufacture three-wheeled electric vehicles. So I don't know how much they could get for that or is it really just scrap metal? Okay, so that's my analysis of their assets based on assumptions that I describe in my narrative here. Now they say that they have $4.2 million in cash and cash equivalents. Now I understand what cash equivalents can be, but if any of that is accounts receivables, financing that they've extended to customers who have purchased the fun utility vehicles on credit, then some of that might need to be discounted as some customers potentially could run into economic difficulty as we are seeing a lot of layoffs, especially in high tech, literally last week and this week, as well as the aforementioned impending recession that we face. And then of course, there's the $27.6 million in total liabilities. And by the way, that is more than the market capitalization of the company now, which it, as of Tuesday, November 15th, 2022, is less than $25 million. And again, they've laid off or furloughed a good percentage of their workforce recently. I've gone into much more detail in previous videos. Again, I want to keep this one short today, so I would really encourage you to look at at least some of my previous videos on this company. One last thing before I end. I try to reiterate each time, do not conflate or confuse great products with a great company or great stock. There are plenty of companies throughout history that made great products and still went bankrupt in the end. There's plenty of companies that made poor products and have done well. Anyone who's ever used Microsoft products, especially 20 years ago, know how buggy and frustrating it could be when your computer froze up due to their software. Yet that company is still thriving and has made a lot of millionaires and billionaires in its history. And as I always point out, I have nothing against this company nor its products. I want it and its shareholders to do well. But unfortunately, I think that the potential to lose most or all of your investment far outweighs the chance of making any money with the security at this time. If you would have bought Arkimoto stock on day one, you would have lost 90% of your investment at this point. If you would have bought it a year ago, you would have lost over 95% of your investment. If you think that their products are exciting and you want to own one and drive one, then buy one.
But if you want to make money with an electric vehicle manufacturer, then perhaps look at Tesla. And to be clear, I do not own any shares and I'm not shorting the stock. And please, whatever you do as far as investing, make sure that you have a well-diversified portfolio with a long-term investing horizon. It may be appropriate for some people to set aside a small amount of their money for risky, risky speculations, but the bulk of your money should be in safer securities. Of course, every individual has their own unique situation, and I'm not a financial advisor, simply an entertainer on YouTube. Okay, that's all I want to say for today. This video has become much longer than I expected, but I think that it's important to completely cover the issues that I touch upon so that you can see both sides and hopefully make the best decision for yourself possible. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out, and it doesn't cost you anything. You just have to click the subscribe button. I'd also love it if you click the like button and please leave a comment. Even if you disagree with me, I would really enjoy hearing from you. Thank you very much for watching and good luck in investing.